Thank you. Good evening. Um, back in the early 80s, my father was offered a job in a think tank at the United Nations University in Tokyo, Japan. Jumping at this opportunity, he shipped off his wife and two little daughters, I was four and my sister was two, to the land of the rising sun. Now, not everybody would have made such a drastic move, especially a man as race conscious as my father. He's a recognized scholar in communications and Africana studies, and he prides himself in all things black, from uh, studying the politics of revolutionaries like Marcus Garvey and uh, Kwame Nkrumah, to a thorough historical analysis uh, of Africa in antiquity. Um, he found our names that way. Uh, he named me Candace after the Queen of Sheba and he named my sister Zinga after the Queen of Angola. So uh, when our family and uh, friends heard that he was relocating us to Japan and throwing us into the biggest culture shock of our lives, they were like, yep, he's on something. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't like that at all for him. Uh, assimilating uh, was not that optional in Japan. Uh, we stuck out like sore thumbs uh, in an extremely homogeneous society. Uh, even more so for my dad who would gallivant in uh, Tokyo with his elaborate West African gowns. So. <laughs> uh, like most little girls in the West relish uh, dancing in shimmering tutus and dainty ballet slippers. I, uh, having grown up in Japan, I long to dance in a real kimono and in tabi, which is the Japanese traditional split-toe white socks. Uh, you can imagine how happy I was when Sensei picked my group to do the opening to Sakura, the cherry blossom song at our school's annual Japanese culture night. Um, I was going to be in a real Japanese kimono for the first time and have flawless application like my teacher. Um, my mom uh, did her part and she cornrowed my hair into a nice bun and she left the rest to my sensei. Um, after gift wrapping me in a um, red brocade kimono robe, which was splattered with white, blue, and green flowers, um, she swathed my waist with a ribbon-like uh, belt that's called the obi and uh, then she started to put dark eye makeup on me and then bright red lipstick and then she suddenly stopped. Um, then she asked me if I wanted to have oshiroi. Now unbeknownst to me at the time, oshiroi is a white makeup, it's very thick, that performers put on their face and neck to enhance the dramatic effect on stage. Uh, oshiroi is a very important component to Japanese traditional dance, it's, it's dance theater really called kabuki. Um, according to historians, um, white face was used to, uh, so pe people could see the actors on stage back when there was no electricity. When I found out that my friends were gonna have this oshiroi white face, I wanted to have it too. You know, I didn't wanna feel left out. When I opened my eyes next, I looked like the most adorable inverted panda. <laughs> <laughs> it was truly cute, I thought, at least. Well, the solemn Sakura song sounded and I, with pride, went on that stage with my Japanese parasol and I uh, started to twirl my par parasol and I turned to face the crowd. The Japanese had no trouble spotting my black washed face. Uh, they were smiling, and then I, in hindsight, I realized that the smiling was actually giggling, and the giggling would suddenly turn to chuckles. Um, I noticed my father uh, was searching for me with this smile, eager, you know, looking for his daughter. He was so excited. Um, then my mom found me, and she cautiously guided her, his sight <laughs> with uh, her finger. And when he found me, the, the smile was gone. He looked like he was about to swoon. And uh, so 
Uh, at that point, the crowd's uh, snickers uh, turned to peals of laughter. While my mom was holding up my dad, and by that time he was whiter than me. So <laughs> I'd never seen my dad um, react that way. So, you know, being naive, I thought that I had done something wonderful for him to want to look just like me, you know, just as white as me. So, <laughs> till this day, I don't think a Japanese crowd has laughed as hard as they, they did on the night that a little black girl in white face came on the stage to dance to their most cherished cherry blossom song, or that my father ever imagined that he and his daughter would assimilate as well as we did that night to Japanese people and culture. Thank you. <laughs>